Hi, my name's Jamie Mattingly. I am Cassidy Fritz's fiance. He started Washed Up Key West. This is his wood shop. What Cassidy does is he uses local tropical hardwood trees uh, Cuban mahogany, if we can find Dade County pine, you know, from, we get it from old houses, Jamaican dogwood, woman's tongue. He likes to take those, cut them into slabs, and once they're dry and ready to go, he makes dining room tables, coffee tables, serving boards, charcuterie boards, what he likes to call functional art. Art that people not only get to enjoy visually, but can actually use. And he likes to push the boundaries on it. So he's always looking for new and fun ways to, to use the wood or to mix the wood with resins or other mediums. It's definitely an eclectic style. You see a lot of the graffiti outside, a lot of the very bright colors. Um, we try to bring some of that in, but at the same time, he could be very minimal and, and islandy in his designs. And you know, just finding a really fun way to marry the two of them together. After Hurricane Irma happened down here, a lot of big trees came down. We actually helped salvage a lot of really old historic trees from around town. One of them being the Shell Silverstein home, which was destroyed by the giant banyan tree falling on top of it. Now, banyan trees are not normally a kind of tree that we would harvest to, to turn into furniture because it's not a hard wood. But we did grab some of the trees and made coasters out of them and, you know, Key West had sort of dubbed that banyan tree the giving tree. It is a piece of Key West history and a piece of literary history and it's been a lot of fun to make. It surprises some people to realize that we are super big tree lovers. We do not advocate for taking down any trees unless they are a danger because of lean or rot damage. But if that tree has to come down, we want to be the ones to get in there and take that log and we let it dry out for about a year, year and a half. He slices it into slabs. We've got wood drying everywhere, uh, all over the wood shop, but also all over our house at, ho at home. We probably have six or seven piles of wood just drying out right now. Rather than watching these gorgeous pieces of wood go to waste, we now get to let them live on. And it's, it's a really exciting part of the job. Cassidy and I both have been extremely lucky throughout this entire pandemic. We've decided that we really want to start using our businesses for good and giving back more than we've been able to in the past. So we recently linked up with uh, One Tree Planted, which is an organization that will, for every donation, will plant a tree in your honor. So we've decided that for every single piece that we sell at Washed Up, we're gonna have a tree planted. December was the first month that we actually got to do it and we planted 78 trees. We wanted to be able to start a collective and just keep giving homes to more and more artists. So Debbie Fritz, Cassidy's mom, is uh, Key West Island Art. Debbie has done a lot of these really cool conch homes. Well, she'll ride around Key West and find really funky looking houses and then create miniatures of them. Kelly Raspa is Concrete Ship Mercantile and she does a lot of macrame and fiber art. She makes these really gorgeous, unique earrings, um, gorgeous macrame, and what, what we would like to say is like more modern macrame. Nick Soto from Made by Soto is a fine gold and s silver jeweler. He's actually one of the only jewelers down here keeping alive the tradition of Cuban hoops, which is you know, the mixture of gold and white gold and like very intricate designs. A couple years ago at our old wood shop, Cassidy had a 20 foot fence and he is, he's always wanted to put up art walls to let artists come and do whatever they want to just have fun. And if you walk around the shop, you'll see a lot of those walls that we had that kind of got us started. What we hope to do for these artists is to give them a canvas to show off their skills so that other businesses around town that are looking for an artist to come to a mural will now see an example of their work. Our goal is to create the Stock Island Art District. Stock Island is more than just where the shrimpers and the fishermen take their boats out. It's an artistic, very creative, beautiful, thriving business community.